Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 110 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Assassin Let's Play with Hazras here. We're back on our uh, Fury 52, uh, about to uh, uh, head on to chapter 5 already of Knights of the Fallen Emperor. Gosh, I'm pretty excited about this chapter 5. So uh, chapter 4 was one long episode, and it uh, looks like some of you guys liked it. So uh, Just Cast actually mentioned in the comments that uh, love the longer episodes. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad you guys are liking the longer episodes. Again, I'm going to I'm going to keep uh, trying to figure out exactly how long they're going to be based on where we are in the episodes. I'm going to try to try to not uh, end halfway through an episode. Um, so, for instance, like last one went a little bit longer. But uh, that's fine. Uh, it was a fun episode. I liked it quite a bit. But uh, yeah, so if, if an episode, the first episode one here from the grave uh, takes like 30 minutes, I'll keep going. If it takes like 45, I might stop there just in case the next episode's like an hour long episode, right? Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm glad you guys are liking the longer episodes. And I think after maybe when we fi finish all the chapter stuff, uh, maybe I'll just keep doing longer episodes. Maybe uh, instead of 45, I'll do like an hour long episodes. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but thank you, just cast for this. And uh, S Ferguson seven 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 says, "What Hosras has a heart? I don't really know if I'd call it a heart. I was I was kind of hoping more that you know I'd have little 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 minions. I guess I could call them little uh, indentured servants, maybe uh, to help uh, with the grave. Because I mean, it's a big ship. You need people to run it, right?" Maybe, maybe that's what I was kind of thinking. But uh, either way, maybe maybe deep down, Hosras still does a heart. So does have a heart because I mean, he he does need uh, allies in his war against um, the the cool um, uh, forces. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> and M E said, "Here's a smile." I love that. So got a comment uh, last episode. Got a smile this episode. Keep them coming. I'm excited to see what I'm going to get uh, next for this episode. So thank you so much there, uh, me E. Uh, and virtually met said first. And I'm reading it last because that's how I roll. <laughs> so thank you for that. Again, I love the first comment. I don't know why. It's just hilarious. So thank you guys so much uh, for your comments. So uh, just cast S Ferguson 777 uh, M E E. So me e and uh, virtually meant thank you guys so much and uh, and uh, guys and gals uh, for the comments keep them coming uh, again I love hearing from you guys so let's uh, let's continue on with this episode here uh, so let's uh, hit play here so uh, let's see how this goes so it was starting where we went to like this um, monolith thing inside of the gravestone and then. Uh, uh, Val Valkyrian uh, showed up, so let's uh, let's see how this goes. Kind of kind of curious. Ow, that was my elbow on my desk. Um, let's see here. Come on, load up, load up. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, oh, we still got to talk to the monolith here. Okay. Don't be so surprised. Where you go, I go. We are indivisible now. The gravestone. Not entirely what I'd envisioned. You're going to tell me what you know about it. I thought I had made it clear that I intend to help you. And here you are, acting the aggressor. You have had a taste of my son's empire, his reach. And Valen, she does not believe in respect. We can only defeat Arkham if we work together. I'll hear you out. Thank you. It's simple, really. You must be willing to accept my help for what it is. And you will have to come to this acceptance sooner than you think. Get ready for a fight, people! They found us! Sky Troopers breaching the entrance! Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's, uh, reach the bridge. And uh, see if we can take out these sky troopers attacking the ship here. I guess by turning things on, it could probably uh, lit up like a beacon in the swamp here. So yeah, it looks like uh, 
Valkyrian is in our head. There's gotta be a way to get him out. I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out somehow. I mean, Hosras has had uh, other uh, forest ghosts in his head before. We found a way to get rid them out, so hopefully we can do the same here. All right, let's head this way. Oh, oh, oh. Sky Troopers here. Do I not have a companion with me? Where's my companions? Where's my HK droid? Let's sit here and for a second here. Oh, no, I can't. I can't uh, invite him. Okay, so I gotta do this myself. Oh, that's fine. Let's uh, see the little bit in the corner here. They won't notice me. Don't worry. Shh. Just deceive very quietly. And we'll be okay here. Oh, there we go. Feel some light force from you. Take you down, good. Hey, watch the ship. That's just the first wave. They have more on the way. I'll head them off. The gravestone will be ready soon. I just need... Don't say three minutes. Buy me some time. I'll get us airborne. I'm with you. HK, stay behind and help Koth. Until I say so. Don't touch anything. Okay, Lana's with us now. These guys can do their thing. <laughs> Let's head out this way. Where are we headed to? Uh, we're going. Nope, this way. That door's got a green thing on it, so it means it's... Or a red thing on it, so it means it's locked. There we go, we've got a captain in front of us now. Oh my gosh, they're tearing me apart here. Come on. Come on, we got this. There we go. Let's see a little bit more now. Not so quietly this time. No enemies around us. Go and <laughs> I love last rate when we get through enemies. It feels so good to hit them all at once like that. All right, let's keep heading uh, south here in the ship. Oh, there they are. I was like, where are they? Actual item. Let's see what it is. Ooh, a helmet. Ooh, I actually forgot I got my command crate tier one last episode. I'll have to open up, the, open it up this ep episode. Forgot to do that at the end. I promise I will do that. These guys are a little bit easier to take down. Alright, let's head to the entrance here. Just still kind of just a hole in the wall. Beat the, uh... Ooh, what the heck? Nice big droid here. The Amtronic or battle droid. Take you down, then. I think you're so special. You're clearly not... Nice and easy take down here. Make them fall. Oh, oh. That's right, you take one out, I'll take the other out, Mana. That's called teamwork. Uh, I'm gonna see quickly before I talk with Mana here. I'm excited to uh, maybe take the ship out for a spin soon. Uh oh. say there were more on the way. Something I've learned to count on regarding Arkhan. There will always be more. All 
Alright, one more enemies here. What do we got here? Sky Trooper Control Droid. Oh! It's a boss battle. We've got, uh... Some stuff to actually, uh... Heal ourselves with here. Let's actually use our... Uh, heroic moment here. An orbital strike here. Did it fly away somewhere? Oh no, it's up in the air. Actually, I'm gonna run over here and use one of these things because I definitely, definitely need to. Actually, let's do a force joke on him. Haha, <laughs> take that force joke! Watch on fire a little bit too. Throw a plasma grenade at ya. Was I, what? It disappeared? No, I didn't want it to disappear. I mean, I guess it makes sense because they killed the enemy, but <laughs> there's still enemies to kill. There we go. Let's see what we get from that. We got a efficient heavy knife. All right, uh, I'm going to seethe for sure this time. Make sure we can heal up the best we can. There we go. Oh, this is more coming. There are too many. We have to keep fighting. Hey, you two need a hand out there? No, we have help. You what? Lana. You're late. You got one of the knights to switch sides. Not all of us blindly follow Arkin. More resistance, knights. Hi, Justice. We have the Outlander. I do hope you're up to fighting your own, Senya. My issue isn't with them. But if they're going to stand in my way... I see you found another pragmatist. Stow the chatter. Prove you can fight. Well, this Senya seems pretty awesome. We got uh, two knights as a fool here. And uh, Captain Rayon Artis. Take you guys down. Haha, <laughs> take that force joke. I'm sure he will when I take down Archon. Oh, what? Apparently he disappeared and decided to go over here. What's going on? What is going on here? Okay. Oh, they jumped over here, so we got a walker to deal with. That was a little little jarring there. What's she saying there? Oh, that's the uh, pilot Drew Velton. Which is inside here telling you to die. Not gonna happen, that's for sure. You say anything else there? A the shield around me right now? Um, I'm doing pretty good here. You're basically dead. There you go, you're down. I'm going to do some healing for my allies here. Oh, does it not go on Lana and them? Okay. I'll let you guys finish the fight a little bit. Let me grab an item here. Death field. A bunch of lacerations here. Oh, the big one's almost down. There we go. Captain's down. Excellent. Ooh, so what do we get here? Uh, another pair of pants and a pair of boots. All right, let's talk with Lon and see what's going on. Who the Senya is. You 
may kill the others. Get out of here. Save yourself. What is this? An opportunity. You are outmatched. Death is all but certain for your Sith friend. I could save her. I only require the briefest moment of control. Accept my help, or watch her die. Choose quickly. Time has not stopped. What? Um. Well, uh, I, I don't want her to die, so, uh, uh, but that, no, I don't want her to die. Take care of it. Gladly. Was that him? The power at your disposal? I was coming to help, but looks like you didn't need it. Is the gravestone ready for takeoff? Far as I can tell. Looks like we've got everyone. Let's go. No, wait. Where's Senya? Excuse me? Where's who? Here I am. Let's move out. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on. She's your help? If you think I'm letting that piece of work on my ship, you're out of your... Interjection. Many more hostiles are approaching. Permission to defend with extreme prejudice. No more fighting. We must leave the cool. I'll prep the engines. Be ready to move. The ship will never pull itself up from the muck. We'll have to give it a push. Firing up the engines. I hope. We can do this. Let your unease take root. Only then will the force do your bidding. doing it they're actually doing it can you believe it observation the ship is rising conclusion belief is not required glad you worked that out Get in here so we can finally get moving. Ooh, we got ourselves a new pretty ship here, guys. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited for this. All right. What's going on? Oh, space bar here. Oh, is that one? That was. Oh, that was a really short chapter. Okay, good. How about that? My gravestone can move! Your gravestone. Do not lay claim to the belongings of others. Right. And let me guess who you think this ship belongs to. Incoming! Dropping out of hyperspace! It's... it's a lot! The Eternal Fleet. They aren't firing. Ugly ship. What are you waiting for? Take it. HK, see about that hyperdrive. Lana, work the shields. And we need a gunner. I'll take care of it. Alright, let's uh, operate the Gravestone's cannon here. Oh, a little, uh... Little droid over here. Okay, good. Oh, we got some sky troopers on board. That's not good. Who's that? Uh, looks like we do have some people on board. Are these the ones we saved, maybe? Because that would be awesome. They seem to just kind of be ignoring the Skytroopers, though. Maybe you guys could help a little bit. That would be awesome. 
Oh, I'm going down quick. Uh, I definitely think I need to uh, get some better stats here. Yeah, what are you guys just standing around for? Let's get my health back here. These are ships in the air. My ship, not our ship, my ship. Hawsrath's ship in the air. Let's go to the weapons deck. Okay. Ooh, more sky troopers. How did these guys get aboard? Are they did they get aboard during the, well, the skirmish on the planet? So that doesn't make much sense to have them on board unless they're sending those boarding torpedoes after us. They very well could be doing. Has a cheap deathness, yes. Thank you, HK. Oh boy, that's a lot of ships out there. Omni cannons up. There's a capital ship near the center. I see it. Good. Now hit it. Ooh, that's a lot of guns. Can't keep up. It's real. We could take the whole fleet. Statement. The hyperdrive now meets minimum functionality requirements. Why didn't you say so? All right, let's get out of here. More than two dozen ships lost in a single shot so that's the gravestone it's as powerful as they say everything stands at risk so cool the throne my vision for the galaxy all because we let the outlander slip away i'm not blaming you i didn't think you were father held us all back you, more than any. Such raw power, and yet you're still spreading your wings, finding your limits. Nice to be appreciated for a change. So, what now? Now, I act. What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni cannons fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Should be able to make it to asylum, but let's not hold our breath. What is this asylum place, and why are we going there? Asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. How many people did Arkin slaughter while you still served him? How many? We're comparing body counts now? I'm not sure that's a game you want to play, Vortana. If anybody needs me, I'll be somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Absolutely. I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself.
All right. Well, this is going well. Um, oh, this is like a hole here. Can I? Can I? Oh, a whole space under there. Um, let's go speak with Lana. But it wants us to do a bonus objective of grabbing some repair stuff first. So let's do a quick sweep of the ship here. What's this here? Is that what I'm looking for? Yes, it must be. That's one tool. Looking for blue glowy tools. Yeah, who are these people on my ship? We got some droids. That's good. And we do have some people on our ship. It's, it feels like more than what we uh, rescued on that one planet. And they all have like this armor stuff. So something, something's up here. Hey, more droids, more people. All the people, yeah. More people that work for me, of course, right? This is my ship. All right, just gotta find two more items here. Oh, hello. Got a little probe droid almost there. You're just looking at the ground there, cool. I'm glad you find that interesting. <laughs> All right, let's grab this uh, driver thing here. Uh, don't have any mail, so I don't have to worry about that. You guys are taking a break. Good job. <laughs> Repair all. Let's sell the junk. I have one of those. Don't need that. I'll put these down here. Oop. There we go. It's one last piece here. A power pry bar. Oop. Repair the damaged door. Oh, where's the damaged door at? Okay, well, let's do that first. Before we go in and talk with Lana. Let's uh, rocket boost away. Rocket boost. Through our awesome ship. It's kind of cool. We have like, we went from having the Fury, which is which is cool. I like the Fury and hopefully we get that back someday. But now we got like, got like a, a full-on capital ship now. Oh, I'm kind of worried if we fix this door. Gonna be beyond it. Oh. Oh, it's the hangar. Oh, please tell me we get the fury and we get to park it right here. That would be super awesome. Alright, let's go talk to Lana. Or or maybe if, even if we don't have the fury, if we get like a cooler ship. Not that the fury's not cool, but I could always I could always live for a different ship. Yeah, I'm just curious on who these people on top of my ship are. Or in my ship are. But yeah, that power blast. Two dozen. Two dozen ships we took down with one shot. It's insane. I can't wait to see what the thing's going to be like when we fix her up a little bit more. And gets more fully operational. Let's see what uh, Lana has to say about everything. Are you, are you golfing? Wait, are you are you seriously golfing right now? I want to see if she does if she does it again here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's talk with Lana here. Oh, are we gonna use them for parts or something? Your display of power, it concerns me deeply. I hope you've considered that its use must come at a cost, a very personal cost. I wasn't about to let you die. No life is worth risking total corruption. Valkorin may prove to be of some use, but he's no less dangerous than when he was alive. That's why we need all the help we can get, and Senya will be a great help. I hope you can see that. She's a good fighter. She helped us raise the gravestone. I'd say she's an asset. And she doesn't give up, either. That was clear the first time I encountered her. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course. Years ago. You were looking for me all that time. Is it really any surprise? Uh, 
I was looking for a hyperdrive matrix processor assembly. You probably haven't seen one in here. I'll keep looking. You may want to look in on Koth. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing. Oh boy. So Lana's Lana's not mad at me, yay. Well I mean kind of kind of upset, but um she'll she'll get over it. I hope. Let's go speak with Koth some here somewhere. I'm sure he's gonna try to convince us that this uh Senya is bad and we should get rid of her. But uh no. She seems awesome. She definitely seems awesome. We're gonna keep her around. Back down to the engineering deck here. And this way. Alright. Oh, more people over here. What's up, guys? Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey, can you get the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You've grown attached rather quickly. No offense, but it's the gravestone that will save the galaxy from Arkham. Not you, not me, definitely not Senya. Lana believes she can help us. That's enough for me. Hey, I trust Lana. I think the world... Look, I'm just saying she might not know Senya as well as she thinks. Senya acts according to, I don't know what, her own narrow concept of justice, maybe. Even if her objectives align with yours, it doesn't mean she'll do what you need to get done. Believe me, just don't forget who dropped everything to storm the spire and help Lana pull you out of Carbonite, all right? That was your choice. I never asked you to do any of this. You're really not hearing me. I should get back to it. Need to be sure the gravestone can get us all the way to asylum. Hey, if Senya shines that narrow spotlight of hers on you, check your shadow. Yeah, this cough guy doesn't uh, trust me at all. I don't trust him so much. Clearly, he's got uh, feelings for uh, my Lana. That jerk. <laughs> I'm sure he's actually okay, but Hosrath uh, takes a lot to gain his trust from non-force users. That's for sure. Query. Has the meatbag bickering finally exhausted itself? One thing that hasn't changed in five years, and I doubt it ever will. Meatbag bickering. Agreement? You said it, Master. Report. I have taken the liberty of checking in on your band of refugees. Assessment. They have quickly taken to their new lodging arrangements. I have warned them not to stray from their chosen location. Analysis. There are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point. Revelation. I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query. Any orders, Master? Make sure Lana has everything she needs. Assurance. I will endeavor to see to her right away. So I'm take, doing my choices a little bit slower right now, just because I'm 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 kind of eyeing up everything that needs to get done, or um, every, every option, every option that I have, because uh, they seem to be um, actually affecting what's going to be going forward. So. 
Especially like with us using the power. Like I don't I don't want to risk the chance of using Lana or losing Lana. And I'm starting to suspect we wouldn't have. They would have found another way out. But uh, we'll see. I'm kind, of, kind of interested. There seems to be what three levels on one side, and then this has the Dark Shank Sanctuary, which is its own level. So there's like four different levels of the ship so far. Kind of like kind of like the feel of this dark sanctuary area. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. What is this? Is this what gives the ship its power? I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I'd like to hear that. Just a few bars. Without accompaniment? I'm not that brave. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything. But I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time... I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. I live by a code, but I don't follow it to the letter. I've heard your code. Victory from passion. It's a powerful notion. Very much like how Arkin operates. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal Emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin wants to lay waste to everything I've fought for and accomplished. I won't let him. Neither will I. I may not know much of the worlds you've inhabited, but I do know what he's doing to them. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet, but I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. If either of you makes this difficult for me, the Gravestone is equipped with several airlocks. When the time comes for us to confront Arkin, that might be just the kind of conviction we'll need. Valkorion lives. He is not himself, nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see, and yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes. And many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. Wait, what was that? Darth Mar showed himself the Satil Shan? That's interesting. I'm really interested in where this goes from here. Oh boy. But it uh, looks like we got uh, uh, another another episode to try to figure that out. So let's uh, let's do that. Approaching Asylum. Told you we'd make it. We haven't docked yet. I should probably figure out how to land this thing. There's no way we're keeping the gravestone low profile if Arkham has agents here. Asylum might be the only place in wild space free of his control. That shadow port isn't on any chart. It's a haven for refugees fleeing Arkans forces. We'll be among friends. Mostly. Tell your associates we've arrived. They knew that days ago. You want to explain how? Figures.
Tenya's here to help. That's all we need to know right now. Why should my opinion matter? I'm only flying the ship. Command, are we there yet? Yep, it's official. HK-55 is the best. <laughs> I love this ship, too. Maybe Hazrath should have flown it in. Ugh. Move it, Gawkers. Let us through. Mighty fine ship you got there. We'll be coming aboard. In how many pieces? Ha! Captain! Outlander, my crew. The best engine burners in wild space. You're lucky they weren't disintegrated. I'll lighten up already. Get up here, you mangy woolocks. You know who I am, don't you? Name's Rollo. I served aboard Darth Mars destroyer. We thought you died with him. Disappear for five years and the whole galaxy loses faith in you. Some of us lost more than faith. A lot of good people died that day. You didn't give us enough time to make the escape pods. I didn't have many options. It was a hard decision, but the right one. We'll never know, will we? Raylo! Get in here! On my way! I'm not the only one hiding things. We share on a need-to-know basis. Koth's crew didn't need knowing. Leave her out of any loop you want, but I always need to know. I didn't want to bother you with mundane details. Next time, I'll bore you to tears. I need to make contact with my network alone. Try to stay out of trouble. Where's Lana? Excellent question. My best engineer hasn't come back from a supply run to the free zone. It's a dodgy neighborhood if you catch my drift. A black market. Rival syndicates disagree over who controls it. They argue with blasters. I think she's in trouble, but we've got our hands full keeping the Gravestone's reactor stable. Give me a hollow of your crewmate and point me to this free zone. I'll handle the rest. Addendum. I will join you, master. My engineer's name is Tora. HK has her image in its databanks. She won't be hard to find. Tora has a big personality. She's surlier than a hungry rancor, but she's the best engineer you'll ever meet. Thanks for the help. And when you're done, find me these coordinates. 
I'll introduce you to my people. Make sure there's food. I haven't eaten in five years. The Free Zone sells food, but don't eat the roast Gorak. All right, so let's take a look at Koss crew. Really, I guess they're my crew now. So military deserters from the Eternal Empire like Koth uh, don't get far without reliable people watching their backs. If not for the aid of his diverse crewmates, Koth likely would have, wouldn't have survived uh, to become the rebel leader he is today, much less one allied with Lana Benico and the legendary Outlander. Among Koth's trusted band of roughnecks is his second-in-command, Len Pavrick, uh, who was a valued subordinate officer serving Koth and Zakul's army. Len saw many fellow soldiers die in Arkin's uh, unprovoked aggression against the Core Worlds and was eager to join Koth in rising up against the Tyrant. Along the way, Koth and Len uh, found allies like Rallo, a former Republic Corporal who was aboard Darth Mars flagship when it was destroyed, and Tora, a genius engineer whose surprising or whose surly personality has earned her enemies from one end of the galaxy to the other. All right. Sound like a, a really good crew. Let's, uh, let's grab this here. Get some dark side points, some influence. And we got HK55 with us. We're ready to explore Asylum? That's the play, name of the place we are. We actually got uh, some Look mail, too. the size of that thing. I can't tell if it's impressive or a giant heap of junk. It's, a, it's impressive. Don't worry. Um... So let's uh, try to find this uh, engineer. Oh, we got a uh, medical Fresh service droid over here. Hot Gorak, steward, fried and roasted to perfection. Nope. He's got a point. Like I, I haven't eaten in five years. <laughs> Which is actually kind of funny. Okay, let's um, grab this mailbox. So we get uh, uh, Terran Del. On behalf of our fellow exiles, um, we'd like to extend our almost thanks to your generosity and bring us aboard your vessel. It's a strange ship, to be sure, but far preferable to the swamps of Ar or Archon's prison. Though we have a few relevant skills, we are doing our best to assist in the running of the shipmaster. Oh, yeah! So they are joining us. Awesome. So those are the people on my ship. Good to know. A bunch of refugees like here. Please, my darling, we'll land on our feet. Just give it time. We live like vermin here, feeding off the scraps of others. At least on Zakul, I had my dignity. There's nothing for us on Zakul. Arkin saw to that. Silly Arkin. Oh, we got a training droid here if we need it. Oh, thankfully we don't. This place looks interesting. I kind of like the look of it. Whoop, missed my entrance. Over here, let's head inside. Lots of cool exiles here. Can't. Argo's at it again. Shooting people in the streets. The only thing free in the free zone is a blaster bolt to the chest. He's still better than the other guy. Hmm. Uh, things might get a little uh, dicey down here. God, I got HK with me. Actually, could I bring... I'm curious if I could bring another companion. Nope, nope. Oh, I just have the two. Oh, she's not a companion yet. And I wonder what's going on with Darth Mar there. Never thought he'd be... Oh, hello. And apparently we just want to fight. <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder why he... is showing himself to Satil Shan there. That's interesting. It felt like she was in the swamps. The cool there, possibly. No bonus objective. I need to kill these people. Just some of them. <laughs> Target has achieved deadness. Thank you. All right, let's uh, seethe up a little bit. Put on my map here for a second. Okay, so just straight ahead, we gotta go. Well, considering I'm not getting a bonus objective for this. And I don't really know who these people are and why they're trying to kill me. Let's just still past them for a moment. Oh my gosh, there's tons of them. Looks like someone wants to join our little party. As your host, I gotta warn you. Things are gonna get rowdy. Caution. 
My rowdy? I believe this meat bag means to kill you, master. Oh, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Oh, there's some stealth guys over here. Cool. Let's rocket boost past these guys. Use the force to shroud me here. Who goes hide out? Let's try taking out some of these guys just in case it's opponent's objective over here. For some of them. Nope. Target has achieved deadness. Alright, so let's stealth up again. Where's Tor here? There's Ogo. Or Ugo. His own cried lord. Let's take him down. Well, then we'll make him pay. How about that, HK? We got this. You're dead. Oh, that was easy. He didn't last very long at all, and he was like the <laughs> these guys' <is> boss. <laughs> oh, I love having you with me, HK. Let's uh, heal up before we open this door here, which I think uh, this Torah might be behind it. Just knocked. My men spent hours on that barricade. I like to make an entrance. <laughs> Identification. That snort issued from the brilliant engineer we were sent to rescue, Master. What she to you? None of your business. Let her go, and there won't be trouble. You eliminated my old rival, Argo. That inclines me toward gratitude. But this girl tried to rob me. That's bad for business. Charging 50,000 credits for 100 thermal detonators? That's robbery. You also insulted my mother. I said she's uglier than a bantha wearing lipstick. It's not an insult if it's true. <laughs> my mother died putting me on a refugee ship to Narshada. I grew up an orphan. Oh, boo who didn't. Join the club. You see why I have to kill her? I recognize that insignia on your armor. Republic Special Forces. Havoc Squad. Haven't run with that outfit for a long time. I'd paint over the symbol, but it still comes in handy, even out here. And I know who you are, too. Everyone said you were dead. But I knew better. What do you say we show each other professional courtesy? I can get you all kinds of things. But I need to throw this thieving scum out an airlock first. Theory. It will be a challenge to throw anything without your arms. What? Okay, we have an option to kill Tano Vic? Oh... Oh, I have to. I don't like your attitude. Where have you been all my life? Stabbing things. Cot and the others are waiting at the docks. You're why the captain risked his neck on Zakul. <laughs> we are gonna get along great. I'll grab Mr. Ugly Dead Guy's thermal detonators. Catch you later. Redirection. We should proceed to the rendezvous with Senya Master. Alright, so I just killed Tano Vic, who has been running with um, uh, Zati for very, very long. That's, that's insane. Oh my gosh. I mean, to Hazrath, he really is nothing, right? So it makes, makes sense. He wouldn't care. 
I mean, Havoc Squad were our enemy for how long, right? So that, uh, that's very interesting. Level 60 modification vendor, nope. Well, what's this over here? Oh, the Dractic Safe Network. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, but it's gonna cost you extra. Lost one of my best guys. Okay, we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I killed Tanovic. Wow. It's gonna go very differently for my trooper, that's for sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, well that gives me hope that uh, my companions are out there somewhere. At least some of them. Observation. That dark and foreboding alley is where we are supposed to meet Senya Master. Oh, excellent. Right on time. My friends have been looking forward to this. I don't see anyone. Are they invisible? Or very small? They're inside. Your droid is not a part of what must happen here. I spent five years stuck in one trap. I won't fall into another. You are free to leave whenever you like. But if you want the help of my allies, you'll stay. We have come this far. Let us see where it leads. Don't betray me, Senya. Before Arkin's betrayal, Sakul was protected by two orders. The Knights, and Scions who see visions of the past and future. Scions no longer serve Arkin. Whether they serve you will be determined now. Fate is a tale whispered to us by the Force, but the voices are silent about you. We must know why. You rely too heavily on these voices. Feel my power. That's all you need to know. If we are to aid your rebellion, we must understand what role you play in Arkan's defeat. We will test you physically and spiritually to pierce the veil and see the truth. You aren't the first person who's wanted to test me. This will be different. I tie my fate to yours. I join you in these trials. Come what may. The heart of Skyva is heavy with loss. In her pain, we lash out. I do miss the old ways of Zakul. Such mythology and pageantry. Please, defend yourselves. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Should things better? Take out these, uh, Scion of Zakul. Oh, you think so, do you? Oh my gosh, there's more of them popping out. Oh, stay out of that red area. That's never good. There we go. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh, more are coming out. Let's focus on the big ones. Uh, Morel and Tursu. May Skyver guide you. Okay. Let me deal with you guys. Almost down, almost down. You fight well. I like how she's not doing any damage to me really. Oh, it's because you're healing. Your current role is healing, that's why. We have passed right. the first trial. There will be more. Scions believe there is no greater power than destiny. They cannot believe you exist outside its influence. But we know better. Alright, let's enter the next training uh, training chamber. 
Probably means more fighting, I'm guessing. Well, get on with it. Impatience. Frustration. Emotions that drove you to kill a potential ally in the Free Zone. You were watching me. We're always watching. Arkan took away years of your life, but he stole far more from the rest of us. Do you feel anything for those who suffered while you slept? What's done is done. All that's left is revenge. And you, Senya, what do you feel? Shame. Because you failed to protect our immortal Emperor? I was in no position to do that. What of the Scions who were slaughtered by your fellow knights because Arkhan demanded it? Do you feel responsible for them? When I joined the knights, they were shields protecting our home world. Now they are weapons wielded by an insane child. Senya, could we reason with the knights? Bring them over to our side. The blood on their hands cannot be washed away with reason. The knights should have rebelled against Arkin. Instead, we have lost our honor. The eyes of Esne claim what can never belong to her. They speak of envy, my son's weakness. Do not let it be yours. We receive no pleasure from this trial, but we act as fate demands. Be strong, Outlander. Uh, okay. We must defeat them. <laughs> I think we can do that quite easily. Let's get out of that for a second. Get out of your lightning field thing here. Should be able to handle these guys. Especially with you healing me. I am fate's conduit. Come on, guys, we got this. One's almost down. Are more gonna show up? Doesn't look like it for this trial. That's good. Oh, no, never mind. Smoke too soon. More showed up. Okay, they're down. More show up. <laughs> Oh, sure, but kind of, I kind of like their, I like their armor. I like, I like uh, Zenya's armor. I like these we guys' armor. Them. Actually, it looks pretty awesome. There we go. That's better. Enter the meditation chamber. Will do. Well, hello. So the trials are just like. Seeing if I can defeat them. Uh, wouldn't say that's a great trial, but uh, Hothras is good at uh, slicing people with lightsabers. Although, it seems like everyone's got lightsabers these days. Hey guys, welcome to the party. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm not actually killing them because they just kind of like disappear. Are these just like projections? I'm starting to get the feeling that there's just injections of someone else. Thank you for the healers. The Scions are driven by revenge, but they require fate's compliance. We are above such negotiations. Destiny is merely the conduit for our will. Excellent. It's a miracle this thing hasn't exploded a thousand times over after what you put it through. It's not a miracle if it's meant to be. I'm living proof that all you need is faith. Uh-huh. Now, I'd say you're living proof that Miss Spooky Eyes is a lot more patient than she looks. Isn't there anything you still need to fix around here? Nope. 
I'm just too good at my job. I found HK wandering asylum with no memory of anything since he left. Whew. I mean, that's probably bad. Where's the Outlander? Exactly. Senya wanted your friend and HK to meet her contacts. She gave them coordinates to the location. Apology. I have no such data stored in memory. Senya, I knew it. I believe her contacts are the real danger. HK, what's the first thing you remember after you woke up? You seek to remove Arkhan from the Eternal Throne, as well you should. His destiny is to fall. We have foreseen that much, but his final fate remains unclear. When he is at your mercy, what will you do? Mercy. I don't know the meaning of the word. Arkhan will not escape justice for the lives he's taken. A thousand scions lie dead because of him. Blood calls out for blood. Do you agree? Answer us! They question her commitment to them because they cannot foresee it. Ask yourself why. If you are not with us, you stand against the tides of destiny. Arkan and Valen must die. I'm starting to second guess whether or not we need you. You act as if you have a choice. We know our part. It's yours that must be revealed. <laughs> I will know your fate, even if I must tear you open to see it. Uh oh, uh, this is not going to be an easy fight. Defy destiny. Put the shield here. Take this guy down. Where'd he go? And why do I have the feeling that his uh, friends here are going to come help attack me? I like it when they jump around like that. You cannot defy destiny. All right, gonna stay out of those. Discharge while I can. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Don't like that. Not my time to die. Gosh, this guy's tough. Come on. Stand down and face justice. Pathetic assassin! Is that? The Emperor will be a Oh! Those are those knights that we killed. Choice Interesting. What is going on here? Stop sure for stroking me. argument with you is pointless and destructive. I can end this without any more bloodshed if you accept the gift of my power. Hmm, so the dark side is to wield his power, but I think Hazras is kind of like, I want to do this on my own, so I know it's going to give me some light side points, but uh, I'm going to try to do this on my own. I'm going to try to fight him on my own. I'll handle him myself. And stop wasting time. Reveal his fate. I mean, I did it. Did it? Oh my gosh, he went full health again. I I use his powers to to save Lana. 
But like this is this is something where Hazrath can deal with this Scion himself. I don't need I don't need Valkyrian's power here. Well, uh, maybe maybe I do. <laughs> Of Darth Vash, what? Okay, took down the vision here. Deal with this guy. Well, get out of the way. That uh, was Darth Thanaton there. He's giving me visions of my past. Oh my gosh. There we go. It is not my time to die. <laughs> yes, it is. Clearly it's going to be. Where did he go now? There he is. Oh, Darth Mar, no! I miss Darth Mar. He was actually pretty awesome. Oop. You cannot defy destiny. <laughs> I think uh Hosras's whole deal is defying destiny. Been doing a lot of it. Or maybe his destiny is just to rule the galaxy. You cannot defy destiny. Do not judge him harshly. This trial was necessary for all of us. We need the Scions. If the Scions still want to help us, I accept. Stand down now. You heard the lady. Every moment since you entered, even this one, was predestined. Everyone here played the role fate assigned them. I ask you a final question. What future do you see for this galaxy when Archon and his eternal fleet are gone? Only the Empire can bring order to the chaos Archon has caused. The Empire is crippled by power-hungry fools. I abandoned it for a reason. You have nothing further to reveal. I now know what blinded us to the future. Our immortal Emperor lives inside your mind. It couldn't stay secret forever. You knew about this and didn't tell me? You didn't need to know. Analysis. Scan reveals no evidence you possess a secondary personality matrix, Master. It is possible your brain is simply malfunctioning. Our duel gave me a glimpse of what's to come. You will destroy the Eternal Throne, but many will suffer before that victory. Let me guess. Your vision didn't specify who suffers, or how long defeating Arkhan will take. Doesn't matter. We win. If Emperor Valkorion lives because of this Outlander, there's hope for Zakul. Your beloved immortal Emperor is a threat to all life everywhere. We must find a way to separate you from him. It's more complicated than that. He's nothing like he was before, and I may need him. We have a lot to discuss. Not here. I passed your test. Join us or don't. Either way, we're done. There is one truth left to reveal. I withheld the true reason I followed you through the trials. To understand the Outlander, 
who will destroy Arkin and Valen, my son and daughter. <laughs> she told you how delightful. <laughs> You're certain she helped them? I killed three knights to make sure they weren't lying. And another three because I hate odd numbers. The Outlander escaped in the gravestone with our mother's help. She's against us. Senya was always strong-willed. That's why father loved her. Do you think she knows he's alive? Has she betrayed us for him? It doesn't matter. She'll return to us, or face the consequences. We don't need them. Our parents gave us the power to forge the future. They should have known we'd use it. Well, I can honestly say I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, guys. So she's their mother. Alcurian's still in her head. We got an awesome ship. We got a crew. We got some scions to help us too. Oh, things are going really well. Uh, although I tell it did, did tell Kano Vic. That's, uh, it's, uh, it's on me. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it's okay. He was, he was part of, uh, uh, Havoc Squad, and I'm playing an Empire character, so it makes sense. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the, it for this episode. So again, thank you guys so, so, so very much. Hope you guys are enjoying the longer episodes. Don't forget, if you guys want to join me in Star Wars The Old Republic, just going to let me know down in the comments below or on the Discord, which has a link in the description below. And uh, I'll send you guys uh, a message, and hopefully we can uh, meet up and join up. But thank you guys so much, and until next time, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>